Welcome everyone to another episode of the Carlisle United FIFA 22 Road to Glory and in today's episode it is FA Cup action time. Things are going to be intense and I don't want to spoil anything but we may or may not go on quite the FA Cup run. Obviously as a League One side you don't know what that exactly means but we're traveling to Ewood Park to face off against Blackburn Rovers and we're going to be playing a 5-2-3. Billa is in goal, Burns, Koninov, Dadu, center backs, backboard, armor, wingbacks, Tanari, Jenks, center mids, Old Karadimir on the wings, and of course the main man himself, Wells, up top. Here are the highlights. Chance to take the lead. He's foiled them on his own. This might be ideal for the counter. And he's made headway. There it is, and just the... Well, the reported fee of around £35 million represents a really good deal for them. He's talented, yes, but he's also a really top-class professional. And that attitude will rub off on some of those players around him, that's for sure. Oh, breezing past him. Opportunity. Oh, football finesse, and it's very... Well, no end product. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Oh, a nice looking pass. Now the task is to remain focused. Surely. And there is the goal to make. Piece of skill, which he made look so easy. That deserved a goal. They couldn't maintain possession. This might be ideal for the counter. All hands on deck. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So a 4-0 victory thanks to a hat-trick from Wells means that the FA Cup run is not over, but Armour in that game did pick up an extended knee injury, well, hyperextended knee injury. He's out for four weeks, which means he will be missing our fourth round game against Accrington Stanley, and to replace him will be Marchenko. Other than that, everything else is the same. Here are the highlights. Well, the host have dominated the flow of the game in the last 15 minutes and created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession... Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. Well, there is the... They're never going to be able to relax. Options in the centre. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Oh, it was there for him. Well, it's not a good finish, is it? That was a glorious opportunity. So, making the substitution now. An opportunity to level matters. And slot it home! And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. And blocked for now. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Oh, can you believe Ball played in rather well. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Will it be? How about this for drama? So a 2-2 draw does mean that we are in fact going to be playing a replay. This man is joining the club, probably just gets sold. So this happened before the game, I guess I put these in the wrong order, but yeah, Morchenko joined the club, this is what he looks like. Vigor Breck has been sold to Sligo Rovers for 440k. Finley Burns picked up an ACL tear, he's out for 7 months. 
Kaya Shabalala will be sold to Scunthorpe United. And to replace Burns will be Dominic Vidra, joining the team from the free agents list. Sign him on a six-month contract. He's really only here for the rest of the season. And now it's time for the round four replay at the Crown Ground to face off against Accrington. So Marchenko still is starting at that left wing back position. Widra comes in for Burns. Everything else is the same. Here are the highlights. And the game begins. changes hands the interception there and both hands on it good goalkeeping and they will be awarded a free kick for that A chance to extend the lead. A goal! Naki Wells. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Now, what can they do from here? And this would reduce the deficit. And a goal! So a 2-1 to one victory with... Our two goals being scored very early on, I was thought it was going to turn into a bloodbath. I thought I was figuring, you know, 8-1. Only 2-1, but we won. That's really all that matters. Jackson Baldwin has been sold to Old Time Athletic. Alex Dunn has been sold to SD Amorabita for $1 million. And Lawrence Ga or Callum Guy will be leaving the club once his contract expires. He just no longer has a spot in the midfield. He was very good for us when we needed him, but... Unfortunately, that's not the case anymore, and he's going to Santos Laguna in Brazil, I believe, so I don't understand how that works, but hey, good for him. And now we're traveling to the MKM Stadium to face off against Hull City in the fifth round. Lineup is the same, except now Armour is back from injury. Here are the highlights. Smith. Oh, fancy footwork. And a chance to whip it in here. Just the clearance that was needed. Can he convert? And a body in the way. Can he finish? In it goes! Excellent passing. Easy save. Getting in there to take it away. Good movement. Oh, surely! And a goal! To a Into the box it goes. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Beautifully weighted ball. An effective cross. Is he going to put it away? What a lovely strike! Getting forward. Can he finish? Body in the way. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. And now to level the game. And there it is! Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium. But can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd... Real chance! Oh, they... So a 4-2 loss does mean that our FA Cup run is now officially over. But hey, it was good while it lasted. Papadakis will be joining the team from the Youth Academy. I mean, decent goalkeeper. He does have the... I forget what trait that is, but... For, should be a solid backup for us. 
Georgios Gianidis will also be joining the team. Good Greek center back. Just need a little bit more depth at that center back position, especially with us now playing that five back. Shabalala, South African right wing back. Very good all round player. Six foot one. Should be a good player to use in the future. Except he's going on a one year loan move to Saudi Arabian side out raid. And now it's time to travel to Plow Lane for some league action. Again, 5 2 3. Um, except Marchenko and Shabalala start at those wing back positions. Gianitis starts that center back position. Here are the highlights. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, there it is, the first caution of this match. Well, he didn't need to make the challenge, did he? He's under pressure now. There's a long time to go in this game. He has time to play it over. Must be! And a goal! Just one. Well, it's not a good finish, is it? That was a glorious opportunity. Wells. Oh, showing excellent vision. He just needs to keep a cool head. And it's gone in! And a successful intervention, winning the ball back. Well, that is how to play advantage. He's in here. A goal! And it's very much game over! The defending. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Can he open the door to a potential goal? And a goal! The Gunnerton! Trying to pick out a teammate. Making sure nothing came of it. Will he find the net? And a goal! Wonderful stuff as they excel! It was. A really sumptuous ball. And running in behind. And still a chance. And thumped away. And attempting the through ball. And there is the goal! So, 4-2 victory thanks to two goals from Wells, goals from Marchenko and Tanari. I mean, we're, we're just flying through the league. Joining the team is Latif Abdullah, left wing back from Saudi Arabia. Vladislav Nakimov is joining the team from Russia, right wing back. Mikos Galanis, Greek center mid. We're now certainly currently sitting in fourth place. Only one point off of automatic, so beginning of the episode looked like it was impossible. For us to get automatic, but now it's well within reach. Next episode, we might just be able to get it. So yeah, guys, that is it for today's episode. Pretty good. Next episode's going to be pretty good because we're either going to qualify for automatic promotion or we're going to be heading to the League One playoffs. So it's going to be interesting either way. Hopefully, you guys will watch it. And it is Sir JTB signing off.